So Bill had stomach cramps and went to the hospital where he was prescribed some pills. The next morning, he was found unconscious. Police found someone had switched the pills and questioned three suspects. Dr. Johnson, his cardiologist, saw him at 3 in the afternoon and wrote the prescription. John, the hospital cleaner, came to clean the room at 7 a.m., found him, and called the police. Susan, his nurse, brought the pills to him at 8 that morning. Who's lying? Susan, the cleaner, called the police one hour before she claimed to have brought in the pills. Mia got a new cat and brought it into her apartment where she lived with three other people. But all her roommates disliked her new pet. Three months later, she went on a two-day business trip, but when she came back, the cat was gone. She questioned all her roommates. Steve didn't notice the cat was missing. David said he was allergic to cats and couldn't survive a day with one around him. Sean was the one taking care of the cat, and he was shocked he couldn't find it that morning. Who's lying? David. If he was allergic to cats, he wouldn't have lasted with Mia's cat in the same house for several months before. You went to visit an abandoned castle when you got trapped in the basement. There's a small bamboo stick on the table, almost as long as your forearm. In front of you, there are three doors, and you must spend one hour behind one of them to get out of the castle. Which is the safest option? Behind the first door, there's 100 rabid wild rats. Behind the second, there's a box filled with water, and you must keep your head submerged in it. In the third door, there's an infinitely deep pool filled with box jellyfish. The second door. You can use the bamboo stick to breathe. Brian was traveling by train to a nearby city. He placed his watch on the table and was looking for his train ticket when the train went into a dark tunnel. When it came out, Brian's watch was gone. There were only three people in the car. Mary was sleeping the entire time. Christopher was looking for his wallet to grab a cup of coffee. Mike was playing a game on his phone. Who took the watch? It was Mary. When the journey started, she had her sleeves rolled up, and if she were sleeping, she wouldn't put them down. Sarah was walking out of the mall when someone snatched the purse out of her hand and drove off in a red car. The security closed the parking lot and found three people with red cars. Alyssa said she was inside shopping when she got called by security. David said he had only just arrived. Bob said he was about to pay his parking fee and drive off. Who isn't telling the truth? David. He's got a parking ticket on his window. From the sign on the wall, he's been there for more than two hours without paying and got a ticket. And he lies about being very allergic to cats. Simon broke into the richest house in the neighborhood and took a very expensive diamond. Security guards caught him walking out and searched him for the diamond. They knew he'd taken it, so when they couldn't find anything, they x-rayed him. Still, nothing showed up. Where was Simon carrying the diamond? As soon as the guards caught him, he put it in one of their pockets. After the search was over and they were driving him home, he took it out of their pocket with nobody noticing. A crazy scientist took you into their basement and is planning to keep you there for a year. He's given you the option to choose one of three foods to eat for the year to stay alive. Which one do you choose to save your life? Pasta and bread, rice and beans, steak and broccoli.
If you only ate pasta and bread, you'd get scurvy in just 8 months. And steak with broccoli is low in carbs, which will start breaking down your muscle mass to help you stay alive. Your best bet is rice and beans. It's high in all 9 essential amino acids your body needs, and you can germinate some of the raw beans, eating their sprouts to get your vitamin C. Aren't you a smart cookie? A year passes and you've managed to get out of the basement. But to make it out of the house, you must pick one of the three doors the scientist created. The first room is filled with venomous cone snails. The second has five very hungry polar bears. The third is a saltwater tank with hundreds of piranhas. Which is the safest? The third room. Piranhas are freshwater fish and can't survive in salt water. Three prisoners are sitting at the table having dinner, but one of them is wealthy. Can you guess who it is? It's not the guy with the steak and the shrimps. The little tag on his shirt reveals he's a chef, and he likes to prepare a special treat for himself. The guy with the jewels shows that he's rich, but in prison, jewelry is basically worthless. It's the third guy. Rich people try to keep low profile in prison, not to be targeted by others. That's why he doesn't flash any valuable possessions or his status. A group of researchers is trying to test your knowledge. They take you into their lab on an island in Italy and present three dishes to you, but only one is safe to eat. Which do you choose? Cheese infested by maggots? Boiled pufferfish liver? Or fly agaric mushrooms? Pufferfish liver can be poisonous if it isn't prepared properly. And the fly agaric mushrooms are among the most dangerous in the world. Maggot cheese, on the other hand, is actually a delicacy in Sardinia, Italy, so it's perfectly safe to eat. Really? One day, you wake up in an arena without knowing how you got there. From the speakers, you hear that you must fight one of three hybrid animals. Which one do you pick to stay alive? A polar bear with the head of a rattlesnake, a hippo with a lion head, or a hybrid with the face and body of a great white shark and the limbs of a jaguar. The great white shark hybrid. Since its body has gills, it won't be able to breathe outside water. You're an astronaut, and you've made it to Mars for an expedition. A team member greets you at the entrance to the base in their workout clothes. When you get in, you close the door and wait for the room to pressurize before taking off your spacesuit. When you walk in, you get a message that someone at the base is an imposter. Who could it be? A fellow astronaut who covers his face because he got a sunburn, an engineer with flaky patches on her skin, or the person who greeted you at the door earlier. the person you saw earlier. If they were human, they wouldn't survive outside the base in the planet's atmosphere. While walking in the forest, you come across a mysterious local that blocks your way. He tells you if you solve his riddle, you're free to go. But if you don't, you'll have to stay in this forest forever. The riddle goes like this. Your seas without water, coasts without land, towns without people, and mountains without land. What are you? Well, you're a map. You decided to go exploring a local cave. You walk inside, and a landslide suddenly blocks the way back. Ahead, there are four tunnels, each with a sign showing you which dangers lurk inside. Which one do you choose to stay safe? The tunnel filled with molten lava, the one filled with poisonous gas, 
the one swarmed by bats, or the tunnel with venomous spiders. You pick the last one. Spiders don't hunt humans for food and usually avoid them altogether. He just moved into a new town with only two barbers. You visit both their shops to decide which one you should pick. The first shop is a bit messy, and the barber needs both a haircut and his beard trimmed. The second shop is shiny, tidy, and the barber is well shaved with a perfect haircut. But you decide to go to the first shop. Why? Each barber cuts the other barber's hair, and you pick the one who gave the other a nice haircut. You've got a job as a helper to someone's mansion, but the mansion owner gives a tricky task. I need the least number of chairs for a table to seat four fathers and two grandfathers with four sons. You can't ask any questions, but what's the least number of chairs you must put out? Four. The fathers could also be grandfathers, and they're all sons. Mary was selling a rope for $3. The buyer gave her $10, but because she had no change, she went to the grocery store next door to get some. She then returned with $7, but then the clerk from the store came outside to tell her that she gave her a counterfeit bill. Mary called a detective and she must tell him how much she had lost. What should her answer be? Seven dollars and the rope. Oh, and it turns out the counterfeiter buyer was a guy named David. What a troublemaker. <laughs>